Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Madison Charlton from MOC Tech and today we're going to be talking about an issue with the MSI RTX 4070 Ti Super and that was with a dodgy BIOS that MSI shipped its CADs which impacted its performance so much that it showed virtually no performance uplifts over the original 4070 Ti. So sit back and relax as we dive into the current issues with MSI's latest graphics card. Now with the launch of the 4070 Ti Super, the launch of this GP was overshadowed by an MSI review sample itself. And now the Ventus 3X series was one of the cards that was most distributed amongst reviewers. Unfortunately, I wasn't one of them because, well, I've only got 500 subscribers, so I'm nowhere near that size to get a GPU given to me anytime soon. But this led to a bit of a dilemma amongst reviewers out there whether to share the results of this GPU knowing that the BIOS isn't up to snuff or do they take the hit and tell readers that the MSI card simply cannot be reviewed due to this massive outlier of results. Now this MSI 4070 Ti Super suffered from poor firmware ever since review started testing these cards. With it being reported that the performance was significantly reduced compared to other samples of the 4070 Ti Super and this very sample's performance was reported to be either similar to the original RTX 4070 Ti or even worse in some cases. With on average it was reported that this card was apparently 5% slower than it was expected to be. But MSI has come out to acknowledge this issue and have acknowledged that this is in fact an issue with the BIOS and they have said to be working on a new BIOS revision since last week. But unfortunately this was too little too late as MSI issued the BIOS revision just hours before the review embargo lifted. Which of course is nowhere near enough time for someone to completely change their reviews and retest the GPU and then completely rewrite a review based around that. This is very unfortunate for NVIDIA and the launch of the 4070 Ti Super as NVIDIA is the primary partner when it comes to what cards they choose to roll out to reviewers as NVIDIA chose MSI as the primary card to give out to reviewers as a card to show off as an MSRP card. NVIDIA also jumped on to officially confirm the issue that's happening at MSI. In an email, NVIDIA confirmed that the performance of this GPU is approximately 5% below expected figures and included a BIOS update that improves performance of this GPU, but apparently it's still not quite up to snuff with it being approximately 3% below expected figures. And with it being reported from reviewers such as Tech Power Up, they reran their tests of the 4070 Ti, but apparently it still wasn't up to snuff. With a full round of testing, they confirmed that the performance increase was only 1% from its original figures, which of course is nowhere near up to the spec of this GPU. So while the new BIOS from MSI has seen some improvements, it's st there are still issues that MSI have not been able to iron out as of yet. So while it's a bit of a PR nightmare for NVIDIA at the moment with these review samples having a significant reduction in its performance, that is not the worst of it. Unfortunately, these MSI cards that were sent out reviewers were not special cherry-picked pre-production samples where there was still a chance for MSI to make final revisions of the GPU before shipping it to customers and suppliers. Where if this was the case, MSI could have delayed shipment of this card to fix the firmware issues with this GPU. But unfortunately, this GPU has already been shipped out to retailers with the old BIOS that performs worse already. So these GPUs are already sitting on shelves and in stock at retailers ready to be sold with this faulty firmware coming on the cards already. And this puts MSI in a really difficult position as these cards are already shipped out to retailers. It means people who buy these cards will need to perform a BIOS update in order to get the performance that they should be getting out of these cards. Which is fine for the average PC enthusiast like myself who is more than comfortable to perform a BIOS update and a firmware update on a GPU. However, there are people out there who aren't so confident in their ability to perform upgrades like this. I know a lot of people don't feel comfortable even doing a BIOS update on their motherboards. And to do the same on a GPU, I understand the anxiety people have. There's been all sorts of horror stories of people bricking BIOSes out there. And so this really deters a lot of consumers out there from performing a BIOS update themselves. Yes, I understand it's super easy these days, but there's still a lot of fear and anxiety, especially with people who aren't experienced PC builders and don't quite understand what a BIOS update really entails. 
and the fact that there will be the expectation for new buyers to update the firmware as soon as they take the GPU out of the box is going to deter and put off a lot of potential buyers, especially those who aren't experienced. And as an enthusiast as myself, if there is clear evidence out there that the MSI variant of this GPU isn't performing as well as other brands out there, then that's going to deter me as well. Because while I understand, yes, updating a firmware isn't so difficult, but if the price isn't too much different, I'd rather get a card with a good BIOS out of the box. And the fact that the current iteration of this BIOS still isn't up to scratch, that would severely put me off wanting to buy an MSI card. So why this puts NVIDIA and MSI in a very difficult position, on the flip side, there are other manufacturers out there that you can buy from. But the only way that MSI can really make this right is yes, they can issue new BIOSes for days, which could fix the issue. That's all good and dandy. But the fact that you're causing some inconvenience for potential new GPU buyers and so with not much experience, you're causing a great deal of fuss for those type of buyers. And the only way you could probably sweeten the deal is make a minor price reduction or partial refund for this issue. That's the only way you could probably make your card a more viable and appealing option, unfortunately. It's a difficult and bad situation for MSI to be in, but unfortunately MSI is going to have to take the hit this time around, make it right to the customer and then make sure and make sure they get it right when they next launch another GPU. Anyway, that's going to be it for today's video. Let me know all of your thoughts and opinions in the comments down below and around this topic. Are you looking into getting an RTX 4070 Ti Super? And has this news deterred you from looking into MSI as a potential option for you? And what other car partners would you be looking into if you were to buy this type of GPU? Let me know all of your thoughts around this in the comments down below. Anyway, I have been Madison Charlton from MLZ Tech. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you liked it in any way, shape or form, make sure to give this video a like and maybe subscribe for more content like this in the future. Thank you so much for watching this video and I hope to see you in another video soon. Goodbye for now.